Hi everybody, uh, my name is Cherie McGinnis and I welcome you to my home. Um, I am a mother, a grandmother, and a wife, and a Christian. And um, I've retired about, um, sorry, I retired about a, year and a half ago. I retired about a year and a half ago. I'm sorry, my husband is out mowing the lawn and when he goes between the driveway alarms, it lets us know someone's here because we are usually back in the house and we never know when somebody pulls in the driveway. So I apologize. I didn't think about him doing that. But anyway, that was our driveway alarm while he was riding the lawnmower back and forth. He didn't know I was doing this um, <clears throat> right this minute. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I retired about a year and a half ago and I've been trying to figure out what I want to do. I didn't really have any hobbies or anything like that, but I always have loved reading the Bible and doing little Bible studies and read, reading devotionals and things like that. And I've recently uh, started doing scripture journaling and scripture writing, and I had posted one of my scripture writings in my book that I use on a YouTube channel the other day. Uh, I just had a picture of my scripture writing and she's seen my journal behind it and she, a lady asked me I've had a couple people ask me how I do my binders and that they would like to see so I thought if it's all right I'll just share them with you I, like I say I'm just learning um, I'm not an artist I'm not uh, anybody that's exceptionally great at it uh, but I am starting to get into it some um, some people are very good artists and they can draw, but it doesn't matter if you draw anything. You can just write out your scripture journals. As long as you get something from it, that's all that matters, and it's between you and God. And I was just going to share some of my stuff with you. It might give you some ideas, and you might be able to give me some pointers in the meantime. Um, I'm going to start out with this one little scripture journal. Um, this is what I call my Bible study journal, and it's, uh, it looks like this. It's just a regular pink notebook. It's nothing fancy. It's not a big expensive journal or anything. Those are lovely, but this is just a notebook. I took a, uh, it's got this little clear thing on the front where you can slide things down in. And I just took a piece of construction paper and uh, it's decorated a little bit and put some stickers on it because I can't draw and I use a lot of stickers, which you will find out shortly. <laughs> Anyway, I put some washi tape around it and everything and put some stickers on it, but this is my Bible study journal. And it, like I say, it's just a simple notebook. It's not anything fancy. It has a little uh, pocket here in the front, and that's where I put um, um, some stickers, of course, <laughs> and some notebook, uh, notepads, and uh, ink pen. Then a lot of people put a, what they call a dashboard on here. Um, I don't have what they call a dashboard. Um, it's just like a divider thing. It kind of hides the things that's in your notebook. You know, it has something on blank or something up here that's not your writing, so people can't really see what's in your book unless you want them to, I guess. But anyway, I just took this blingy little shiny pink bubble wrap top envelope <laughs> because it was an envelope before I cut it up. Uh, anyway, I got it in the mail. Uh, it was something I ordered, and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna cut that up. And I'm going to make me a dashboard for my notebook. So that's what I did. <laughs> it didn't cost me anything other than the stuff that was in the envelope. But anyway, um, I took some um, notepad paper and punched holes in it and put it here in the front. That's all that is. Um, so that's how I start out. My first tab here, and like I say, this is where I do a lot of my studies in this little notebook because... It's, you know, smaller, you know, it, it holds enough. You can write enough on those papers, but it's not cumbersome. So when I'm sitting in my chair, you know, doing my Bible studies or something, I can write on it easy. Uh, the first tab here is uh, Charles Stanley. And I love Charles Stanley. I love to watch him. So this is my first divider. Uh, I put down all my notes from when I watch all of his shows in here. Um, take all the notes down and I put a little clothespin on there so it keeps my papers intact so I'm ready to just flip over and start writing on the next time so I don't have to flip through the papers every time. My next one is devotional studies and I have a lot of devotionals, little devotional books. I might do a video on those sometime because um, 
I've got a lot of them. And it's nice to know the ones that are, you know, that really are good and in certain areas they're better than others. Um, but I take a lot of advice from other people on YouTube that, that have them too. And, um, you know, we can help learn from each other what, you know, they're good, you know, in certain circumstances through your life. But anyway, this is my devotional study tab. So I go through here and write down anything from Jesus calling to prayers of comfort and hope, uh, different things like that. This one here is uh, my YouTube studies. And I follow several people on YouTube and do the studies from them. Uh, one is Kim Cash Tate. She's very good. Um, homespun housewife. Um, I love her. Deacqueline Williams, I absolutely adore. She is just a sweet soul. Love her heart. I love her pieces. And she lives in Alabama, I think. And I'm like, oh, I wish you lived in Kentucky. But we live far apart. But anyway, she'll answer any question I've got anytime. She doesn't care. She's just a sweetheart. But anyway, there's different people on YouTube, as you probably already know. But anyway, I follow them, and I put uh, uh, notes and stuff from who I followed and what uh, Bible study that it was. I did one with Kim Cash Tate on the book of Ephesians, because that's my favorite book of the Bible. I've always loved the book of Ephesians. Um, I'll, every time I say Ephesians, I think of this little story of when my daughters were little, and they'd get in trouble, and they wouldn't pay attention to what I told them. I had They memorized Ephesians 6.1. And I would say, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd, I'd tell them, I'd say, okay, now what am I going to tell you to do? And I'll say, tell you Ephesians 6, 1, mommy. And I'll say, let's hear it. And I'll say, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. <laughs> so I'd have them say it till they meant it. And then uh, they, they still know it to this day, because I still pull that on them, and they're in their upper 20s and 30s, or 30s, actually, so... Um, scripture studies are just scriptures that I've done as my next setup, and just scriptures that I like to write, uh, things I've learned from those scriptures. Uh, the next one is Joyce Meyer. I like Joyce Meyer, or whoever you would like to watch, you know. You can do more than one per thing if you want. Like I say, everybody's different, everybody likes different stuff, and some of these I could probably even combine. But I'm just starting out, so, you know, I might eventually combine them all, but right now I've got them separated. It helps me a little bit better. But anyway, I've got a section for her. Uh, I have some of her books, and I watch her on TV. So, you know, books and TV stuff. I've got uh, notes in here on that. Uh, I've got my church bulletin section, and I just punch holes in my church bulletins and put them in here with my uh, sermon notes and stuff. So I've got that in here. Um, this is uh, my scripture journaling. This is just where I write down different scriptures and stuff. And then the back of the notebook, <clears throat> I have got my uh, schedules. I do a chronological Bible study through a year. And I do a regular straight through the Bible in a year. And uh, I'm trying to do that this year. I've not ever done that before. So I'm trying. I'm doing pretty good. I'm in 1 Samuel, I think, right now. But anyway, that's my Bible study journal book. And it's not a very big book. You can see from the size of my hand, it's, you know, it's, what, five I want to say five by eight, but I don't know if it's five by seven. Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, it's about that size, which I've got pretty big hands, but you can tell it's about that size. Okay. And before you start doing all this, you really need a Bible. I probably should have told you that first, but I'm sure you figured that out by now. But anyway, this is the Bible I'm using right now is Everyday, Everyday Matters Bible for Women. Uh, it's the New Living Translation, and uh, I like it real well. It's got... Uh, it's it's got, uh, it, this one's paperback. They have them in many different forms, but I got the paperback. Uh, but I love it. I've not had it that long, and I, you can tell I've used it a lot. But I just love this book, and it's very pretty. Isn't it pretty? I've got all different kinds of Bibles. Uh, I might go over those sometime, too. I like to see Bible reviews of what people like their Bibles. You know, every Bible I use, and some of them's got parts of them that I like better than others, like dictionaries or topical studies, different things like that. Now, here's the big kahuna here. <laughs> this is my prayer and faith life binder. And this is just a big notebook. I think it's a made something. It's kind of rubbery. These little things are, it doesn't have metal rings. It's these little rubber rings. It's pretty sturdy actually. Um, but anyway, I, it's just a red notebook and I just took some of that decorative uh, construction paper stuff and I decorated the front with different pieces of it. And of course it has stickers on it because you know me, it has to have a sticker on it or it's not mine. So, anyway, there's that. 
and I'll try to do this. <laughs> this one's a little bigger than the other one was. Uh, it does not have a pocket on the inside or anything. It does not have a pocket. Uh, it's just plain on the front cover. Okay, let me turn this way. I'm sorry. I think I can do better this way. I'm right-handed. Um, anyway, uh, when I open it up, I've got this little fall uh, divider thing here. Um, and I put, I thought the polka dots were happy, so I like stuff like that. It makes me smile. And this card definitely makes me smile. We sang, uh, my husband and I sing gospel music. Uh, in nursing homes, churches, stuff like that. And we just get a blessing out of it. Uh, anyway, we sang in a church over here from our house a while back. And they sent us a thank you card in the mail. And I thought that was so sweet. So every time I see this, it makes me smile. And uh, I just love those people. And uh, anyway, when I open it up, this is a scripture writing plan that I'm doing for the month of March. I've got them all through the year in this tucked in, tucked in here. Um, this little file folder here, I put some little stickers on it, of course. And uh, I like this kind. It came with the notebook, um, but it has this pocket here. Let me see if I can get a better grip. Okay, it has, oops, has this pocket here, and it has another little pocket here. But I, the thing I really love about it is it has the corners up here, a little corner flappy thing. I love that because it keeps your paper upright. Um, it doesn't like when you open it up, you know, your paper will like flop down on the top half. It doesn't, keeps it from doing that. And I love that. That's, that's really nice. I, I really do like that feature. Um, but anyway, I've got uh, a little paper clip up there. Um, shows me where this is at. The reason I have it up there, I should probably explain that since it's in the front of the notebook. It's not hard to find now. This was in the middle of my notebook. And I re, uh, redone some stuff in it yesterday, and I moved this to the front because I use this more than anything. And I did have it in the middle, which is why I had the paper clips that helped me find it a little quicker, but right now it's in the front, so I probably don't need that. I might use it to keep my pages together so I know where I start at next, which is probably what I'm going to do. But anyway, this is my scripture readings and stuff. You know, you just do a scripture reading and you draw a little picture or something, which like, <laughs> this is my first stab at it. Uh, I did, I think yesterday, I tried to draw an anchor which is probably better if I did hide it. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> but anyway, it's the thought that counts. Uh, let's see. And then there's the scripture and stuff. But you do the scripture writing, and you can either just do a scripture writing. You don't have to draw anything. You don't have to do anything else with it. Um, you can just do the scripture writing. But anyway, I'm going to take this paper clip and put it on the top of those papers. So now when I open it up, I'm ready to start my new sheet. So that's good for that. So, I'm sorry, let me put this down so I can get this arranged here a little better for you. Okay, then we come to the next section. We've got another little divider here. Um, this section is my praise section. And I have um, on the back here, on the back here, I have uh, prayer notes. Um, I have people that I'm praying for, and I have um, family members, people in nursing homes, our country, our president, our government officials, uh, just everybody, and I have them listed here. And then behind this, I don't want to show you everybody's name because that wouldn't be nice. Um, anyway, behind here, I just have the prayer that I pray, uh, making, you know, my prayer and everything on paper. And I found that it helps writing it down because it makes you really think, it makes you take your time, and... Um, I just really like it. This next section is called Thankful, and this is things that I'm thankful for. And I've got my little InTouch magazine here that you get from Charles Stanley, InTouch Ministries. And anyway, I put down things that I'm thankful for, the people that I'm thankful for, things like that. That's my next section. Okay, my next section is called Thoughts and Concerns. <clears throat> This is just things that I'm concerned about, maybe people or circumstances, things that people are going through that maybe even I'm going through, or the country or, <clears throat> pardon me, um, you know, just things anybody's going through. So uh, anyway, that's what that one is. The next one is prayer request. Okay, so I've got that there. And then that's the end, that's all. There's no flaps or anything on the inside of those. But this is a very sturdy notebook. Um, it, uh, it's very nice. I like it. Um, the only thing that's a little bit aggravating about it, which is really no big deal, really, but when you take this apart, like these rings here, they don't come apart in the middle. You know how you, you know, get the metal rings apart in the middle and add your paper? This has like a little arrow looking thing on the end of this that sticks down into this flat, round, th 
flat round this round thing here and your paper is flat against it so you just undo this and you have to take all the papers out and then put that back down in there and push it in but i tell you this is so sturdy but a good thing about that also too is you know how your paper kind of gets stuck on those little things when it's the metal ones right here and it doesn't do that on this but you can just flop them papers right over so it has good and bad points but i do like this one i do like it a whole lot uh, and it's bendable. It's not hard, you know. Um, so, you know, you can you can you can hold it pretty good. But anyway, that's that's that book. And that's how I set mine up. But you can do it any way you want to. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. It's your notebook. You know, you do it how you want to do it. Um, I have another little book real quick. I call it Cherie's Prayer Closet. Um, I put a paper over it. It's not the actual cover that, that comes with it or that, that is on it. <laughs> Uh, but it's actually called Organizing Your Prayer Closet. It's a book by Gina Duke, and I follow her on here, Gina Duke. And uh, she's very good. And she uh, she wrote this, and it's a, it's a very good book. It tells you how to pray, and it has sections back here that you can, that you can pray, and uh, that you write down your prayers and different things that you're concerned about. And I decorate mine some. I decorate all through it. But you can look her up on Gina Duke. Uh, she is very, very good, and she wrote this book, and it tells you all about the different sections in here that you can pray uh, for people and things, how to pray. It's it's a very, very good book. I would recommend it to anyone, and it's got a, a year's worth plus a little bit more days, really, uh, that you can do your prayer. It's a, uh, One of these is like a week, so... But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative for you some. And um, I'll do some more videos. If you want to, hit the subscribe button. And there's a little bell there. And if you click on that bell, then you'll get updates when I put a new one on. Uh, but I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And we can all keep in touch that way. And I thank you so much. And I hope you have a blessed day. And remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more. Thank you. You all have a good day. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.